Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your fighter in the blue corner. He weighed in at 81 kilograms. He has a mixed martial arts record of five wins with four losses. He trains out of Tsunami Gym, fighting out of Cambridge. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jack Mason. And his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 81.8 kilograms. He has a perfect mixed martial arts record of seven wins with no losses. He trains at ZT Fight School, fighting out of Brighton. Please welcome John the Hitman Hathaway. And your referee for this contest is Mr. Grant Waterman. So, Robbie, John Hathaway has had great hands, but he's also got good ground skills as well. But the ground is where Jack Mason excels. So this could be a really exciting fight in that respect. Yeah, this has all the Masons of being one of the most exciting fights of the night. Both these guys are good and well-rounded in all areas. Now, Chris, possibly the, the problem for Jack is John is good at all areas. We know about his hands, we know about his striking, but we've seen him so cool on the ground as well. Well, he's going to be up for a challenge tonight in Hathaway because he's going to be matched skill for skill with the, with the ground ability and possibly slightly outmatched in some people's opinion. So where we go, round one of three. And Rob possibly as expected, Mason looking to take it to ground. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a smart option and he would have looked at Danny's homework and looked at strategies as he went for the take down there. It's Hathaway that ends up in top position. Good work by John Hathaway. And this is what we mentioned earlier, Chris. He's good on the ground as well. This lad is really developing into an all-round fighter. Well, you see the movement there. He stopped that throw right away. He was able to get to a sitting position. And then he's really working good to get himself outside of the guard and make it difficult for Mason. Mason's trying hard to get into a position where he can be either very defensive or, or offensive at the same time, trying to pull a guard. But Hathaway's made it very difficult for him thus far. Hathaway doing a good job at the moment, just controlling the hips of Jack Mason. Keeping Jack Mason on his back. Has a good job of flattening him out from heel. Look to posture up and strike. A very accurate, hard striker. You can see the left hand begins to chop away at Jack Mason. Mason trying to find some space between him and his opponent. And when, when we look at his career in cage rage, Chris, he's a value for money fighter. Very few of his fights actually go the full distance. Close the deal on fights. Hathaway again, much more interesting fighter and a good throw there by Hathaway. He's all over Mason. And Rob, that's no easy feat, is it? Because Mason's a strong guy who likes the ground, but Hathaway is really setting out his stall and making a statement here. He certainly is, and he's being very dominant in doing so, showing some great ability and some great technique right as now. he works for the arm. He almost had a top position triangle there. Could still potentially pull it up now. Gave it up. Matt Mason does a good job scrambling free. His upper cuts just working their way through. I don't know if Hathaway knew, but he almost had a submission there that he could have gone for. Great work by John Hathaway so far as again he works for the takedown. Needs to be careful as Mason looks to move into the guillotine choke. Big slam by Hathaway. Hathaway is just in control no matter what offense Jack Mason does. Hathaway uses it to his advantage, and he's been able to just dominate position, and he's really cool, calm, and collective. He's not exploding. He's just waiting for the right opportunities and then capitalizing on them and keeping himself out of danger and just earning points constantly. Rob, as Chris says, this is such a mature performance from Hathaway, the confidence of an unbeaten fighter and the ability to go with it. Well, let's not forget he's had some hugely tough opposition. Jack Mason tapped. There's a problem with his eye. There seems to be blood coming from. It's cut, Rob. It's cut on the, right on the eyelid there. But, guys, that was such a dominant performance from a man who is now 8-0. Wow. Sorry, Mal, just to correct you on that, it's actually a record of 10-0 now that John Hathaway's managed to accumulate. So, fantastic effort by that man. And to accumulate a 10-0-0 record, you really do need to be something special, and I believe we're seeing that right here. And Chris, he's called the hitman, and he's cold and calculated like a hitman, isn't he? He doesn't waste anything. Well, he, 
He just, he had total control of the whole fight. There wasn't a moment where he was worried or in trouble. He didn't make any hesitations or bad reactions. He was just totally, total perfect showing tonight. And I mean, Rob, you can see the accuracy here as they work on Jack Mason. Hathaway at the moment, he's cold, he's clinical, and he's so calm. Well, as Chris rightly pointed out, he controlled that fight. No matter what Jack Mason did, he had, he had the answers for it all. So it'll be interesting to see who John Hathaway's next opponent will be. I don't think people will be lining up to, to be that next opponent. <laughs> no, but the other thing we must mention is how modest he is. You see his celebrations and everything. He's a very grounded, modest guy. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 41 seconds of the first round, we have a winner due to tap out from strikes. Let's hear it for John the Hitman Hathaway.